What's up, guys? All right, here's a sight to see. I just got called into this old church, uh, which has no men that do any maintenance or anything here. It's, it was a lady, old lady with her walker showing me where everything is. Old Chrysler unit. Look at those disconnects and starters. And that belt drive motor. Look at that, oiler. Oh, it looks like an oiler system or something. <laughs> this sucker's probably older than me and I'm 49. Chilled water. It looks like there's no actuator, it's just on all the time. She said somebody just put filters in there. Used to be an actuator probably on that, but it looks like, yep, it's just wired to be in one position. So, I have not went in the basement yet. We just unlocked it. I'm getting ready to go down in the basement. Oh yeah, check out this. Up to the tower. That'd be an interesting sight to see up there. This is an old, huge church, and she said there's only 35 people going here, and like 10 of them supporting it, meaning 10 are tithing. So to me, it seems like they should like find a smaller building, but no matter what they think it's gonna be, this place is gonna be expensive to fix. So far, I've only opened this door, turned on the lights. And, oh, well, that's a lot newer than what I expected. It's got an alarm in it. Nice. So we got. Pumps right there. Are those are the chillers? They're just their direct drive with a coupler. Look at the size of those old motors. I need to turn on my flashlight for you. I'm gonna stand by. Yeah. Yep. Refrigerant filter dryer. So that must be. I think that's what that is. Nope. That's an oil separator. I've never seen this compressor before, so I'm just figuring this out as I'm looking. Motor drive. I'm guessing that would be hot gas. Going into here, oil separator going back to the suction. Oh, man, that's just this one. Chiller barrel up there. It looks really antique. And suction coming down. And that's interesting. Two of them. And over here must be the Chrysler air tank. What are these? These are just air handlers, looks like. Or another part of the building. They're actually running. Whee! <laughs> Man. Okay. So there's, and here's a compressor here, which looks a lot newer. And is it teed into it? Is this like a small cellar? I'm trying to figure this out. Here's a little heat exchanger. It's got a flat plate for some reason right here. Okay, that is its churl a barrel, basically a flat plate, and then uh where's the condenser water? Come into play on this thing. Suction to the flat plate. What's the I'm trying to figure out where the and then the hot gas. Oh, it's got an air cooled. Oh, okay. Air cooled. Um, this is this is not a somebody's hodgepodge thing. Going up and up on the roof. I'm gonna find an air cooled condenser, probably. Two lines right there. Yep. All right. Well, that thing is a lot newer. But I wonder if this has been put in place. But anyway, let's see here. Let's see if the touchpad actually works. This is pretty new. Alarm current. AO51. I'm about to look. I reset it. So far, we're kind of doing okay. And the water loop was 90 degrees when I started. Now it's down to 52. So it's actually going to shut off pretty quickly. I need to get up on the roof and see what kind of air, cool air. Yep, just as I expected to see up here. Get that some coil. 
giving off the pressure switches. All three motors are actually running. Huh. And I started that sucker up hot. 90 something degree water and 90 something degree out there air. And uh, yeah, it's just warm liquid there. <laughs> Who knows? I can see the big ugly bell still works. <laughs> Dog. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, I jumped too soon. It does do the dong. <laughs> oh god. That's a, that's a custom boiler. for some other rooms. Looks like a lot of this stuff's just all jammed up. If it doesn't work, I don't see any uh, actuators on the water valve, so I assume that these things are just cycling by shutting down the blower. <laughs> Last time they didn't filter something. Look at that ugly shit. That's just that. This stuff's abandoned even says leave off on that one. I'm pretty sure it's the same story with the 30 tonner over here. Just off. Well, there's disconnected. So, uh, you can tell where they tapped into the chiller lines right there. Brought it over to this unit. It's a 20 ton and 30 ton. This is probably about a 20 ton or so. I'm not sure, I mean, it's an 035. Uh, maybe, maybe quite the feet through that one little uh, flat plate heat exchanger, but those are really efficient flat plates. So, my water's down to 44 degrees, and it's just cycling on capacity now. It's down to two thirds, 66%. Leaving water temperature, what's well, going Entering water temperature, 48. 44 is the set point. Um, so, yeah. Down at that the capacity. I'm just kind of watching that. Pressures are just fine now. Huh. That's some interesting sounds. I thought I'd been hearing those clicks. I thought it was just the, you know, unloader. But, uh, hmm. Sounded like it was coming from the cabinet. The only thing in there. Oh, yeah. Something's going on. That actually just shut it off. That shouldn't make it chatter. Huh. 120 volt switches there, contactors. What a piece. Alright, I'm gonna keep messing around with this thing. Wait a minute. Dude, that thing's a freaking rheostat. Wow. Look at that. The bellow moves the needle. I've never seen one of these. And I probably screwed it up, but it's a rheostat, basically. Huh. This even, yeah, it's changing it somewhat. Wow, I'll be damned. The actuator is actually moving when I turn that thermostat, but I had to turn that thermostat way down below, down to 60 to get this to go to what will be open, huh? So I think probably it's been calibrated, <laughs> so it's actually like a variable voltage feeding that thing, huh. like a 2 to 10 volt thing, all mechanical.